Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR. So, we have an article from Yahoo Tech, which is actually sharing an article from Engadget. Virtual tabletop gaming platform Roll20 experienced a serious data breach. All right. Well, Looks like a rogue or a lich got into an administrative account to compromise personal information. This article is from yesterday afternoon, just about 24 hours ago. Popular virtual tabletop service Roll20 has experienced a serious security breach. According to an email the country's company sent out to use, the email written on July 2nd, I received it early morning July 3rd, warned users that their personal data may have been exposed, including address, the last known IP address, and the last four digits of their credit cards. However, the breach didn't expose passwords or full financial information, so that's good. The company discovered unauthorized access to an administrative account last week. It immediately blocked the impacted account, but this particular account had access to the aforementioned personal data. Roll20 doesn't know if anyone actually used this breach to scoop up data, saying it has no reason to believe your personal information has been misused and has no reason to believe it hasn't. That's just me saying this. But that's notifying users out of abundance of caution. Uh, and Gadget says they reached out. Now, by the way, um, there is no two-factor authentication on Roll20. Apparently, they experienced a similar data breach in 2018 that impacted 4 million users. That's six years ago. I would assume there's more than 4 million users, what with the year of 2020 behind us. But let's take a peek at the email I received. Hello, Roll20 user. We are writing to tell you about a data security incident that may have exposed some of your personal information. We take the protection and proper use of your information very seriously. For this reason, we are contacting you directly to explain the circumstances of this incident. On June 29th, 2024, at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. Now, by the way, I got notified July 3rd, early in the morning, Eastern time. But when did this happen? This happened June 29th. Oh, Roll 20 learned that an administrative account was compromised. By 7.30 p.m. Pacific time, we acted to ensure that all unauthorized access was blocked. We began the process of investigating the incident to determine the scope. Following our investigation, we learned that the unauthorized third party had access to administrative tools, which may have resulted in the exposure of personal information, such as your first and last name, email address, last known IP address, and the last four digits of your credit card solely if you had a stored payment with us. Notably, the compromised administrative tooling did not expose your password or your full payment information, such as your address or credit card number. While we have no reason to believe that your personal information has been misused, we are notifying you out of an abundance of caution. We take your privacy and security very seriously, and we deeply regret that this incident occurred. We will be implementing an action plan to further enhance the security of administrative tools going forward. Remember, this happened prior six years ago. If you have questions, yada, 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 here are some resources containing good best practices for protecting your information online, which we recommend. Well, folks, here's something that I got to remind you. Do they give you the um, no for free? No, wrong or no, no, no data, no, no credit checking, no credit no. protection, and is that because they think that I don't know why, Rick. Right? I they don't know, and I don't think they know enough just yet. They don't know themselves. Okay. But folks, here's something to remember: Roll Twenty isn't just Roll Twenty. Now they're they're I don't know if the systems are separate. But Roll20 is also a drive through RPG. Many of us, especially if you have a publisher account, an affiliate account, have monies that are sitting right now at drive through Something to think about. 
Or if you are a publisher on Roll20 and you have a publisher account, you probably have money sitting on the Roll20 side of this. It's scary. Um, I'd like to see them do a bit more than what they are currently doing. Now, in my case, I have a lifetime subscription to Roll20 because I was a backer on Kickstarter. So they have no billing information for me. They have no credit card information for me, which is good. But for, the, but for those that are in this situation, be aware. Be aware. I, wouldn't, I didn't even read this email until I saw the news article. I went, oh, I got to check my email. So check your email. All right, folks. So on that note, it's July 4th. If you are in the good U.S. of A, um, happy July 4th. Don't do anything stupid today. Of all days, let's keep let's keep your uh, let's keep your fingers uh, all attached, all your toes, all your body parts. I know people like laying on, uh, blowing up those fireworks. Please, please, nothing stupid. So, other than that, enjoy your holiday. Enjoy if you're off today. Enjoy it with your family and friends. Uh, just a reminder, because of the July 4th weekend, Gamers House will be Sunday night at 8 p.m. Sunday night, 8 p.m., as opposed to Saturday night at 8 p.m. little time shift because of events going on because of July 4th weekend. But we still have a live stream tomorrow night, July 5th. Don't miss it. It's going to be fun. So, as always, be safe, be well, God bless. Roll those ice, roll them well. I'll catch you all tomorrow on the live stream. God bless.